First, I should start by saying this is probably not condoned by Dremel, and they say that the quality of their filament is of a certain quality, but I don't care. So I'm gonna use some other brand with my Dremel 3D printer, you know what I mean? Quick note, if I have any additional information to this video, it'll be attached with the eye in the corner of the screen, so be sure to look at that for any of the links they put. Hey, what's up, Internet? So, got a Dremel 3D printer, and I've been using it for a while. Got the unbox and setup video going, and I'm working on the pros and cons and the full review. But in the meantime, I've actually figured out a Dremel hack, and I think you should check it out. Especially if you're going to buy one of these or if you already own one. So let's check it out. Yeah, I'll give you a hand. So I was looking at the filament and I'm like, dang, I don't like the filament being so expensive. And I want to fit regular filament in there. So I took out this piece. You might know it. It's the piece that like holds the filament. And then I made another piece that takes its place entirely. The cutouts on the bottom of the printer where the normal filament will sit are, are big enough for a full one kilogram roll from at least the company Hatchbox. So I went ahead and bought some of that and I've printed the actual the adapters through that stuff just using oil on like the outside of the the roll and just setting it in in the meantime which is probably not a good idea especially if it touches the filament but uh, anyway I did that yeah, and you can do that right away if you wanted to. Or, if you got some filament, go ahead and print it out. I've got it on Thingiverse. You can just print it out, flip the machine over, you pop the bottom piece off, you can see all the inside stuff, that's cool. And then, you gotta hold the, the nuts from that side and then unscrew the piece, and then you screw the other one in. It is that simple. Uh, the spindle's bigger. Everything is, is a little bit bigger than the original. And it works, so... <sighs> Dremel, if you're watching, come on. A message for Dremel. People want to use what's already out there. If it's with companies that make filament, for instance, they make it for, uh, it's like the third to half the cost of your filament and twice the quantity in one roll. And, and now it's in it's in there. There's no thing. There's no mounts on the outside. It's You guys should have done this from the start. People will do what I have done. They already have. Maybe it doesn't look as good. But come on. Embrace this, please. Or else you're going to lose potential sales. You guys have an awesome machine. Uh, yeah. And then that would be the final, the final note for anybody else viewing this. This thing rocks. I know it doesn't have like a heated bed or or doesn't use ABS, but there's a 3D printing club that I have attended, and there's there's issues with using uh, different materials and, and different temperatures of heated beds or whatever. I all I've done is buy this. I've designed some stuff, use the software to like convert it to whatever whatever files. It's another complaint people have. And it works. It works well, especially when it's on its uh, its high res. Here's the first. Here's my revision. This is not a revision. It's the original. It's a good printer. So, in the meantime, if you're looking for a printer, and the only thing that's holding you back is getting the filament that normal companies sell, well, there is a solution here. And then there's also others that are like they're ugly. You can mount stuff to the outside of the printer, which I'm not not a fan of. If you like this video, there's a button for that. If you want to see more videos like it, there's a button for that. So like and subscribe. And if you're just bored, cruise my channel. You might, uh, you know, be less bored. Anyway, hope that helps. See you later, Internet.